here and welcome to my youtube channel as you can see i'm in the yogyakarta international airport right now and i'm about to go to singapore with air asia indonesia actually i recorded this flight five months ago i'm really sorry for that i have some other things and that to do but recently i'm doing some research and i found out that despite being five months old this video should be still relevant by the time i upload this video at least so i decided to share it with you guys a little bit data about my flight, this flight happens in the morning of 18 June 2023 at about 7am in the morning. The aircraft that will bring me to Singapore is a 2008 build H3200CO with regurgitation Papa Kilo Alpha X-ray and Echo. Despite the clear weather and stunning scenery, me and the passengers encountered some turbulences. It's not a really rough turbulence, but we are told to fasten the seatbelt. And since AirAsia Indonesia is a low-cost carrier, there is no in-flight main service. But there are some snacks and beverages that you can buy.
so it's an arrival and it's time for a quick summary. The flight is relatively on time and it was a quite smooth ride despite some turbulences. The cabin, lavatories and seats are surprisingly clean and tidy, as expected on an international flight. But I think Air Asia Indonesia should pay more attention to aircraft interior details such as that one cabin lightning at a ceiling which didn't turn on for some reason. But well, that's not a huge problem. The crews are also good in terms of hospitality, so yeah, it's a nice flight. After passing the immigration, I did some mini tour of the airport, such as going to the jail of Changi Airport and doing some point spotting at Terminal 1. This too can be achievable by using a shuttle bus from Terminal 4 to Terminal 1. In the end, it's an overall good experience with AirAsia Indonesia. I hope it can improve and stay consistent on every flight. Thank you.